So what are biological kingdoms? We're not talking royalty here, but they are pretty important in grouping or classifying organisms and understanding how they are related. You can learn more about what classification is in the classifying organisms video. Classification attempts to impose a hierarchy on the complex and dynamic variety of life on Earth by describing how different species group together and how related they are to one another or not. Kingdom is the second highest rank below the rank of domain in the sequence of classification. Remember that little rhyme from the classifying organisms video, do keep ponds clean or frogs get sick? Or you might prefer this one, definitely keep plucking chickens or face getting sacked. So now looking at how kingdoms are broken down. In 1969, an American plant ecologist called Robert Whittaker introduced a five kingdoms classification system with the following five kingdoms. Prokaryota, Protoctista, Fungi, Plantae, and Animalia, which was mainly based upon differences in nutrition. Each kingdom has characteristic features so that an organism can easily be assigned to one of the kingdoms. These characteristics are based on cell walls, whether they are eukaryotic, prokaryotic, and on the way they get nutrition. Starting with animals, also known as Animalia, they are eukaryotic, multicellular, and have no cell walls. They develop from blastocyst, which is part of the embryo development. They have both nervous and hormonal control system. They are heterotrophic, which means they eat stuff and have a digestive system. They are motile, which means they move. Cell division, which enables growth. This happens in the tissue. Plants of Kingdom Plantae. They are eukaryotic and multicellular like animals. Unlike animals, they do have cell walls with cellulose in. They are autotrophic, which means they use photosynthesis to make their own energy from sunlight. Their growth is restricted to meristems, which is layers of dividing cells. They are non-motile, and they have a leaf gas exchange system and are waterproofed. The fungi kingdom are eukaryotes and can be multicellular like animals and plants, but could also be unicellular such as yeast. They have cell walls like plants, but have a substance called chitin rather than cellulose. They are heterotrophic and saprotrophic, meaning they decompose, so they break things down or are parasitic. The body of a fungus is composed of a thin filament called hypha. They secrete enzymes, do external digestion, and then absorb the resulting nutrients. The protoctista kingdom are eukaryote-like animals and plants. They can be unicellular and multicellular, like the fungi. They have cell walls, sometimes with polysaccharides. They are autotrophic and heterotrophic. And finally, the prokaryota kingdom. They are unicellular. They lack organelles that are seen in eukaryotes. They are typically really small, about 10 micrometers in size, much too small to see with the human eye. They have cell walls and are autotrophic, using photosynthesis and chemosynthesis, without light, and are heterotrophic. They divide by binary fission, not mitosis. So from this video, you should know, kingdoms break down into five groups based upon different characteristics including whether they have cell walls, are eukaryotic or prokaryotic, and how they get nutrition.